Hello everyone, uh, this is Manus here. Um, today I will be talking about um, a new thing that has been introduced um, and the Starbound update Furious Koala and basically it added something called uh, the pack file, the dot pack file. Um, basically what it does is uh, it masks or like compresses all the files in the game into a single file. Um, the thing is, a lot of people have been ha having issues with it. Uh, they don't know how to unpack that pack file to get a uh, access to the actual game files again. So, um, the reason why I think it's introduced in the state that it is right now, uh, like, it, it makes it more difficult for people that don't know what they're doing to get access to those assets files and break the game that way. And this way it will kind of make the complaints go away that were there right now of people that actually didn't know what to do and try to change the game files and actually failed at that. Um, the thing is, in the, uh, in the future, it's, it's supposed to be uh, a way of this distributing mods to players on a server. For example, this server has this uh, pack file that they're using on that server. If a player connects to that server, uh, it will automatically download the pack file that the server is running, and that way it will have the exact same files as the server has as well. So this way, like, servers can kind of um, make their players that, that are joining the server have the exact same files and mods as the server wants them to run. So this will be really great later on because like there's bu there's a bunch of alterations to the game files that make um, certain hacks and certain unwanted things possible, and gives a real headache to server introducing uh, to server uh, managers as well. Um, but yeah, as I said, like right now it's basically. Um, just a way to kind of pack all the assets file into a single file. Um, and that's pretty much it right now. Uh, they just, just introduced it, I, I'm sure it will be more fleshed out. I'm not entirely sure what to think of it myself right now. As I said, like this is kind of the first version of them doing this right now. And it might be awesome for server owners later on. But it might, it might also be um, making it more complicated as as it stands right now, for example, to actually access the asset files. So um, let's take a look at how uh, the packer actually works right now. Because most people, when they up, uh, downloaded the new update, and they still wanted to mod and wanted to look at a, a base file, and see how they were made so they can base their own items uh, off of that, they will need to unpack that pack file to actually have access to that. So, if you want to use this unpacker, um, I will just show how to unpack it first right now. Uh, you need to locate your um, Starbound folder once again. And for me, it's just on my boot drive, Program Files x86. Then you go to Steam, which is right here. Steam Apps, Common, Starbound. And there you are. Um, now, this packer basically only works in a command line interface right now. Um, there is GUIs out already. I will show the uh, the thread that has a lot of the resources that are linked to this uh, in the description, and I will show it at the end as well. Um, but if you go into your assets, you will see that all these folders that were once in here are actually gone. All those folders are now actually in this pack.pack file. Um, so we need to somehow get access to the to the files that are packed in here. Uh, before we can actually uh, do something with those files. So, the way this works, I will just open up a text pad right here. Um, you need to go to the command line interface, which I will do in a second. But you you will need to locate three things. One of them is uh, where your .exe is for the unpacker or the packer. So let's just do that right now. Uh, we go to Starbound. Uh, for me, it's Win32 because uh, 32 because I'm running Windows, obviously. Uh, there it is, the Asset Packer and the Asset Unpacker. 
Um, we are trying to unpack it right now, so we will need this uh, specific file right here. So I'm just going to copy my directory path right here. Um, and I'm going to open it here. And then it will need to be as a unpacker. If it's situated any anywhere else for you, you have to paste your own um, file path instead of using mine. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. So the second thing we need to do is locate our packed file. And, um, in this case, it's in the assets and it's right there. So we copy over this file directory. I open it up with the semicolons again. Oh, I need to make this a little bit longer. And it's called packed.pack. And then close that again. Now this, the third thing you need to have is the output directory. Um, for the sake of this, I will just pack it to my, uh, to my desktop. Um, as far as I know, the folder cannot actually exist yet. So, uh, if you wanna wanna have a folder like on your desktop right here, so like I, I wanna, oh, I wanna get it like right here. This, I, I can use this path like right here, but this won't work because uh, the folder already exists. So uh, let's still use this, but actually specify like a folder right into that folder as well. So this is the file uh, path right here. So let's make it like packed. Oh wait, unpacked one, and close that again. Now, if you have this information, you can start running your uh, command line interface, and you have to run it as administrator. Now that we're in here, we can just select all of this with Control A, Control C to copy it. Go into your command line interface, right click and paste. Well, it's called plucker for me, but whatever. And you will see that it's uh, starting to do some stuff. And now if we take a second, it should start putting it in right here. Uh, it's not doing anything. Why is it not doing anything? What did I do wrong? I'll be right back. Okay, um, I just didn't press enter after answering the, uh, the actual uh, lines that I got from my notepad here. So once I did that, it started unpacking the, um, the pack file into this folder which I called unpacked1. And it will be quite a while before this is all done. Uh, it actually Sometimes for some users, I've heard reports of taking it for like three minutes. I've heard reports of 20 minutes. Uh, it depends on your computer as well. For me, it took around five minutes, roughly. I didn't really time it, but that felt around five minutes. But um, yeah, there's more items showing up and there are all your actual items that you can actually look at. You can open them with Notepad++ plus plus again. Um, take a look at how they work, stuff like that. So this will be really helpful for anyone that is making a mod and needs the base assets to uh, to build upon. So you can just let this run, and once this is done, it will show a little message that it's actually done. Um, so I'm going to stop the stream right here, um, or the, the video, sorry. And I will show you what message there is, and then afterwards show you how to pack stuff um, again into a single pack file so you can use it again. So, um, just give, let me get some time to actually uh, let this finish. Alright, so um, the unpacker is actually done now. It indeed took around 5 minutes. You might want to be able to look at my uh, my actual Windows clock if you want to make sure how long it took for me. Um, it doesn't actually show anything, it just goes back to the uh, to the path file that you were on before when opening command line interface. Um, but now everything is everything is in here, and um, now if I wanted to repack this and actually use anything that is being edited in the in the game assets, like for example, I go to uh, items, I go to tools, um, I don't know, Bmax. 
And I changed anything in here, like the file time. I make this like uh, a bit faster, like 0 0.20. And now I would like this Bmax uh, to be uh, to be packed again, so it can actually be used on my game. Um, so now this is the unpacked uh, file that we want to repack. And as before, and the um, uh, the unpacker it works kind of similarly. Except you need some different file um, paths. So, like the first link or directory path that you're gonna need is the asset packer.exe. Um, so, let's go over here and we will see that it's right here um, asset packer.exe. So, we're gonna just copy that again. Uh, let me make like a new, new row here and do it like that. Yeah. And then it's called asset packer.exe. And uh, we're gonna have a second line for uh, what our folder is gonna be um, that we want to use in this uh, in this uh, packer. For us, that is this folder right here, the unpack one where we actually unpacked it uh, before, changed the Bmax in, and now we want to repack that. So we're gonna need that. And then last, we want the output directory of where you actually want to uh, to put your uh, packed file. So let's just uh, put a new folder in here, um, packed one. I just want to show that um, it actually works this way. So are we going to copy and paste that? I'm not sure if you have to specify your file name, we'll see in a bit. Um, but for now, let's just try this. Go to our administrator run command line interface once again and just paste this in here and press enter. And pack one. Yeah, okay. We, we pretty much need a file name here. <clears throat> so um, we're just going to do this and call it packed starbound dot pack. Now let's see if this works. And should be working. Yep. So now it's <clears throat> packing this uh, this entire file or this entire folder, unpacked one, into um, packstarbound.pack. And as you can see, the um, the size of it is actually expanding as well. So um, if we wouldn't want to use this in our game right now, we go back to assets. You just have to back up this. Um, I kind of don't want to do this right now, but. Um, and you just copy over your new packed file after it's actually done. Uh, it shows my uh, f file path right here again, so it, that means it's done. So I could just copy this over here and put it in the assets folder, back up this pack.pack file, and then rename this file to pack.pack again. And then if you start up the game, it will use your new packed file um, when you start up the game and, and, and just play the game. So that is pretty much how the packer and unpacker works. Uh, there's one thing I definitely want to note. The mods folder. The mods folder still works the exact same as it did before. Even though the entire asset folder is actually in a pack, um, your mods folder will still be loaded aside from your pack file. So if you're making a mod, please for the love of God, don't use the packer to pack up your mods. At least not right now. Um, it will ruin compatibility with other mods. It can screw up the game way more than um, than that it can screw up if you just put it in a mods folder. And there's literally no reason for packing your mods into the assets folder and then packing that up, up in your game. So please just keep continuing to use the mods folder like you did before. And basically only use the, um, uh, the packer and the unpacker right now if you want to change something uh, that you're not going to release for anything else, like I just did like a quick change with the super uh, with the meta manipulator or something like that. If you're not going to do that, please just use the mods folder like you did before. So that's pretty much the packer and the unpacker right now. Um, it will be updated for uh, for the next patch most likely, and it will likely change uh, how the packer and unpacker works and what you can do with it. Um, but this is pretty much it for now. So. Um, I'll see you guys later and uh, good luck, bye bye.